few minutes, you are going to be entertained by Rudy Valley and his Connecticut Yankees.
Greatest law of our nation, by far the greatest of legislation, this court of musical interpretation is ready to start the day. You men of the jury have been selected to sit in a body and keep protected the rights which might otherwise be neglected. So let your opinions be just. And as for the law, all of those who mock it will hardly find 30 days jail in their pocket. Without more ado, we'll proceed with the docket. And everyone's ready, I trust. Case of the Reverend Yasin Dieter versus Henry Whitewash, the choir leader. Our plaintiff and defendant in this action, ready for legal satisfaction. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, both of you step forward, please. Uh, what is your name? Reverend Yasin Dieter of the Congregation of the Explicit Faith in the River of Jordan. And your name? Henry Whitewash, Your Honor, and I don't see no sense in my... Will the plaintiff take the witness stand, please? 
Do you swear your evidence to be the truth? I do. I do. Now, Reverend, will you tell the court the reason for your action? Your Honor, last Sunday morning, I was in the midst of sustaining to the brethren and the sisters the story about how Samson beat the stuffings out of a tough bunch of Philadelphians. When suddenly I remembered that my lazy choir ain't done done no singing yet. So I turned to this year no good speaker tripe and I says, look here, you supposed to be the choir leader, give us a song. Sure, he said. And immediately he swings into something that upsets the dignity of my congregation. That will do. Will the defendant take the chair? Hey! Do you swear your evidence to be the truth? I do, I do. Now, Henry Whitewash, what have you to say regarding this complaint? Well, Mr. Judge, on this Sunday morning, the Reverend turned to me snappy and said, give me a song. So I give it to him, just to snappy. There's all I did. Gentlemen of the jury, in making your decision, you must apply the principles of musical precision. I must inform you that the music law has clearly stated that temples of our solemn hymns cannot be violated. You've heard the plaintiff's and defendant's cases spoken. And it's up to you to see if any great law has been broken. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We find the defendant guilty. Come forward, Henry Whitewash. You are hereby sentenced to sing forever through a megaphone. The next case our attention is centered upon is Mary Smith versus Husband John. An action for legal separation, perhaps another tabloid sensation. Will Mary and John Smith please step forward? Now, will you please tell me what brings you into court? I want a divorce. On what ground? Polo. <laughs> you always swear to nothing but the truth? I do, I do. Now, Mrs. Smith. Will you please tell us why you want a divorce? Well, before John and I were married, our lives were all wrapped up in the better music, the classics. You see, John played the mandolin, and I turned the pages for him. But since we've been married, he's been spending a good deal of time with a Miss Syncopation. He gives me and the classics no more attention, and I want a divorce. Mr. Smith, is this true? Well, yes, Your Honor. But my intentions toward Miss Syncopation have been nothing but honorable. She stimulated me. Mrs. Smith, I am quite familiar with the Miss Syncopation you refer to. And I assure you that if Mr. Smith paid any attention to her, he was only one of millions. Now, children, court is no place for people who are in love. You do love him, don't you? Yes. And you love her? Yes, sir. Then forget the little quarrels of the past and make up. You'll be so happy. You'll always sing If you'll remember One little thing A little kiss each morning A little kiss each night Why care if hard luck May be ahead An empty cupboard A crust of bread A little kiss each morning a little kiss each night. Dreams may disappoint you as 
as they often do. Yes, away your teardrops, you'll come smiling through. Though hair so youthful may turn to gray, keep saying, sweetheart, the same old way. A little kiss each morning, a little kiss each night. The State versus Betty, who's charged by police for disturbing the national musical peace. Who knows how much damage this young lady did? Come forward, Miss Betty, the Boopadoop kid. What is your full name? Betty Boop. But please, young lady, you have broken every law of music. What is more, you caused the spreading of the habit to every man, woman, and child. Boop for doping must stop. Oh, no, Your Honor. Anything but that. There can be no leniency with such a serious offense. We must take away your boo boo for doop. Oh, please, Your Honor. Have mercy. Listen to my plea, huh? confusion. We find it unnecessary to leave the courtroom to reach a verdict. What is your verdict? Not guilty. Will you 
place that in a package of phonograph needles? Oh, I'm sure you'll find some in the portable in the operating room. Thank you. Oh, yes, Dr. Tango. <laughs> Will you please see that Miss Barcelona gets a new treatment? Oh, three minutes of Spanish music for Miss Barcelona? right -o. Hello? Dr. Valley, please. your path is very clear to you. You've started on a serious career. And it's my hope that what you learn will teach you what to do after you complete your studies here. All of you are specialists. Of that I am aware. And you know the use of instruments, I'm sure. Still, you all must work together if you'd properly prepare to treat each ailment and affect its cure. So far, I have spoken in a very general way. Now I wish you'd make a note of what I have to say. I don't care to what psychosis we ascribe each diagnosis of what cause of ailments we deduce. Just as long as songs can cure all, then allow me to assure all pills and drugs have now outlived their use. No matter what the case is or its urgency, be prepared with this for each emergency. Keep a little song handy wherever you go, and nothing can ever go wrong. Keep a little song handy, sure as you know, sunshine will follow along. Any little single jingle that sets the toes a tingle Welcome when you mingle in any single throng. So keep a little song handy wherever you go. And nothing can ever go wrong. Keep a little song handy wherever you go. And nothing can ever go wrong. Keep a little song handy and sure as you know. That's the toes a tingle. It's welcome when you mingle in any single throng. So keep a little song handy wherever you go. And nothing can ever go wrong. Now, gentlemen, I suggest you explore around and make yourselves useful. Oh, oh, do something, do something. Mm. Feed me out here. Oh, uh, Miss Clapper, Miss Clapper, come on in here. Miss Clapper. Well, what's the matter with my little wuzzy wuzzy? Oh, let me get out. Don't you like a little poop 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 Judging from the way he jumps, this man is troubled with ingrown mumps. Well, seems to me much more like hammer toe. Well, as for me, I have no doubt. This man is suffering from the gout. It's indigestion, and I know. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. It's indigestion. Ingrown mumps. It's hammer toe. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Gentlemen, what is this discussion all about? Doctor, we differ in a diagnosis. Won't you help us out? Where is the patient? <laughs> there. there. Open your mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. what, what is, is it? it? Just as I thought, a simple case of musical starvation. Now we must put this patient on a strict diet. Please make notes of this. For breakfast, one cheer up ditty not too strong. <laughs> Two choruses of a comedy song. For luncheon, a salad made of a very light ballad.
and a sandwich of two standard blues. Some little hot song for dessert and make it as hot as you choose. For dinner, some classical tune as an appetizer. And a foxtrot that really moves. For dessert, any rhythmic love song. And a waltz as the patient improves. Emergency case on the way? I'll let the doctor know immediately. With this new diet, the patient should begin to show improvement almost immediately. We'll be ready as soon as the patient arrives. Yes, yes, Miss Octave. Dr. Valley, there's been a serious accident. The ambulance is on its way. See that everything is made ready at once. Get the operating room ready for an emergency case, and you can help. Hello, operating room. What seems to be the matter with you? What well, Doc has got the black fever. If it takes one thing, it's another. Lordy, Doc, I had many aches and pain in my life, but I never felt like this before. Can you tell me exactly how you feel? I knows how I feel, Doc. I've got those missing all the kissing from my Alabama mammy pants. Ooh! Why, you've got just what I suspected. All those mammies been neglected, man. True! Now, Doctor, won't you see what you can do for me? I'm afraid that I'll have to operate. Go to it, Doc. Don't hesitate. I got to yearning to returning to my Alabama mammy face. Ooh. Well, I'll do my very best to pull you through. And if I do... You must visit Mammy often, that's a promise you gave me. Well, I'll hurry there tomorrow if you only will save me from those missing all the kissing from my Alabama Mammy's pants. Ooh! Now be brave. Give me the anesthetic, please. Give me my favorite instrument, please. Mammy, Mammy. The sun shines east, the sun shines west, but I know where the sun shines best. He seems to be doing very nicely. Doctor, would you mind giving the other patients their treatment? Keep a little song handy wherever you go, and nothing can ever go wrong. Keep a little song handy, sure as you know, sunshine will fall along. Any little single jingle that sets the toes a tingle is welcome when you 